Alicia. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Are you? Mm. I thank God. And how are the kids? We are alive, oh. <laughs> and what of my brother? He traveled. To where? Just. Che. Hey. When is he coming back? Uh, next tomorrow. Is there any problem? How? Oh. <sighs> um. I need some money to pay the landlord for the house rent. He gave me only 12 hours to pay the rent or he would throw me out of the house. I knew. What else would have brought you here if not money? But my wife, why are you talking to me like this? Why wouldn't I talk like that? Every time you come here to disturb my husband, each time you are here, it is either money for your children's school fees or feeding money. Eh? Don't you know that we have our own responsibilities too? Besides, money is not easy to come back these days. Felicia, I quite appreciate all that your husband has been doing for me for three years. But you equally know what I am going through ever since my husband was jailed in Italy and how his relatives had turned their backs on me. Your husband is my only hope. He and the children depend on him for survival. I will advise you to take the children back to the village. Since you cannot afford to pay your rent. I know you people can help me. And your husband is the only brother I have. And so? And so? Is that the reason why you not allow him to rest? Hasn't he tried for you? For how long will you keep on begging? Anyway, as you can see, I was about going out before you came in. So if you don't mind, please, kindly step out of the door. I want to lock up the house. Felicia. Yes. There is nobody in the house. Please, go out. I want to lock the door. That's exactly what I've been going through ever since my husband. Your only brother was jailed in Italy. All I'm asking is that you accommodate me and the children in the meantime. Now that the landlord has thrown us out of the house, I don't have any place to take the children to. My wife, I would have loved to help. But you know my own wife, she would do her of it. Of course, you know how you, you women behave. Two women cannot stay in a house. So I suggest you take the children to the village, since your landlord has thrown you people out of the house. Brother Bruce, you know I can't go to the village due to the problems I'm having with Mama concerning my husband's uh, problem. Huh? Please. Florence, <laughs> you don't seem to understand Mama. Mama is nice. And she would gladly like to help. So take the children to the village since you cannot afford a one room apartment. I think that is the only option left.
stop coming from with all these bags. Is anything the matter? The landlord has thrown us out of the house. Shit. <laughs> that man is heartless and callous. So he went ahead and carried down the streets after all I begged him to exercise patience with two people, eh? Don't talk like that. The man has tried. For two years now, I've not given him a couple. It's only a few landlords that will have such patience. He has tried for me, brother. He has tried. Okay, it's all right. Um, Danny, please take them to the children's room and find them something to eat. Danny, didn't you hear what I said? Take them in and give them something to eat. Where will the children stay? There is no vacant room here. Felicia, don't stare my anger now. Take them to the children's room and move all the children's belongings to your room while you transfer all your things to my room. Now move it! for her and the children. I can't share this house with them. Why are you being so difficult, Felicia? Why? Why can't you accommodate them for a while? Don't you know what that woman has been going through for the past three years? I don't want to know what she's been through. All I am saying is that I can't share this house with them. She has a brother in this town. Let her go and stay with him. And what is wrong with her staying in my house? Am I not her brother? If she were your sister, would you be saying all these things? Anyway, this is my house. And I decide what happens here. She will be staying with us pending when I will get a place for her and her children. Yes. I give you one week to look for a place for her and the children. Else. Else what? Are you, are you ordering me in my house? I reserve my comments until the one week expires. Now listen, Felicia, I am promising you that if you try anything stupid, you will be in for a big surprise. Today also is the fifth year since I handed over the running of the company to you guys. Yes. And um, I must confess that both of you are doing marvelously well. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Daddy. Thank, Thank you very much. So I, I, I want you to keep it up. Yes, sir. We will. Ike. Sir. 
I know my late friend, your father, will be very happy with you wherever he is now, with your performance. I know what both of us went through in order to set up this company. So I don't want you guys to relent your effort. We promise not to let you down, sir. Always putting up best, Daddy. Always. Meanwhile, there is one area that requires urgent attention. Um, that is the human resource department. I want both of you to put your heads together and uh, work out how you are going to harness this department. Because they are the powerhouse of any establishment. Manage them well to give you greater output. But if mismanaged, your productivity will most die. We will look into that straight away, sir. Yeah, right, right. right away, sir. All the same, you guys are doing tremendously well. Thank you. So Thank you, let us celebrate five successful years in business. <laughs> To the five successful years in business. business. Cheers. Something you have not felt too well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mm. <clears throat> mm -hmm, got it. All of my sister and her children have the eating. You better go and ask them yourself. See that that madness of yours has started again. This is very nothing from it. 
take that. Let's finish this one first, then eat this one, okay? Florence, why are you and the children eating bread? Is there no food in this house? <laughs> we prefer bread to cooked food. Sophie? Yes, Uncle. Have you people eating? No, Uncle. Auntie refused to give us food. What? You made my wife refuse to give you people food? Yes, Uncle. And this has been going on for three days now. My God. Leave her. I understand. No woman will want another woman to bring her children into her house. Please leave her. Leave her. What are you talking about? It is high time I did something to cover her excesses. How could she starve you and your children in my own house? Eh? Philip, I'm not complaining. Eh? I'm not complaining. I don't want to stay on any fight between you and your wife. Please. I have already caused her enough pain by moving into her matrimonial home. Please calm down. Thank you. Please. Sandra. Uncle. Go into the kitchen right now and empty that pot of rice. If that wouldn't be enough, cook another pot of rice. I want you all to eat to your feet. Do you hear me? Okay. Now move it. What do you owe your children to do now? <coughs> Mama, stop crying. You, you've not been feeling fine for the past two days now. Why won't I cry? Eh? My husband is rotting away in jail for three years. I don't even know if he's alive. My brother's wife is not making things easier either. I don't need a soothsayer to tell me that we're no longer wanted in this house. Oh, God, I thank you. What would I have done without Angela? At least this will carry us for three weeks since Felicia has decided not to give us food in this house, despite her husband's instructions. Mama, yeah. Mama why don't you report her to Uncle? No, 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 no. I don't want us to cause any trouble between her and my brother. Mama, we cannot continue like this. For well, how long will you keep on begging money? When there's enough food in this house, we cannot continue for like this. It's okay, my children. Let's go and get something to eat, even if it means going out. Consent. I'm sorry, Auntie. Oh, I didn't touch any of your foodstuffs. This year, oil, salt, and vegetable I bought with my mother's money. Oh. You bought yam, palm oil, salt, and vegetable with your mother's money? Yes, Auntie. But you forgot to buy gas cooker and pot as well from the market, eh? Whose knife and pot are you using? I am talking to you. Or have you gone deaf? I said, whose knife and pot are you using? Oh, so it has gotten to this, eh? Uh, you want to kill my daughter for me because of your house? I'm glad that you 
know that you are in my house. What this useless daughter of yours? Any day I see her or any of her children again in my kitchen, I will roast them alive. I have respected you well enough, but I will not blind myself in the big to dodge from something. The next time you touch any of my children, I will show you my true colors, even if this your madness is the white type. Shameless woman, what can you do? What can you do? I don't blame what you. I don't blame you. If not for my husband's condition, will you be talking to me like this? Will you? We are your house. So do whatever pleases you. I'm glad that you know that you are in my house. You can go and rub your nose on the tower door for all I can. Or better still, go and hang yourself. Shameless woman. I have said my own. Shameless woman. You are shameless. What can you do? No sense. What can you do? What can I get out of my kitchen? And if I don't get out, get out of my kitchen. You are a very wicked, useless man. Mm. Get out! Mm. Mm. No sense, no man. Shame on you. I came to pass down my cousin. <gasps> but you've changed. Look at you, you're a big girl now. Look who's talking to you, you're a bigger chick, you know. Seriously? <laughs> I thank God. Yeah. How is your sister, your brother, mom, see? Yeah. Fine. What about your younger sister? She's fine. She's not a big girl. Yeah. Please, uh, tell me where you stay in Lagos, because I need to come and see you. My place is not far from here at all. Have, have you got a pen and paper? Have you got a pen and paper? Ah, no, no, no. Huh. I don't have it, but my handbag is in the supermarket down the road. Make me go, make me go. I need to go. Yes, uh, you left it in your excitement over there. Mm. Ah, well, Ike, this is Sandra, my very good friend. I haven't seen her in a long time, three years. Can you imagine? My God, Sandra, this is Ike, my cousin's friend. Hi. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. I actually brought her here to give her my address. I don't want to lose contact with her again. God. Ah, see you. My brother traveled, you are throwing us out of your house. If he were around, would you have done what you are doing now? Yes. yes. I will do whatever I want. This is my house. Go to your husband's house, shameless woman. Auntie, what have we done to deserve this? 
You are just simply being wicked for nothing. Amadio has spread that your foul mouth. Look at her. Like mother, like daughter. Only God knows what I will do to you people when I see your legs in this compound again. We will leave your house for you. Eat it. I will eat it. I will eat it all. Only God knows what you have done to your husband's brother that has made him not to accommodate you. Shameless woman. Let me ever see you people step into this house again. Felicia has done her worst. I have been insulted. Where do I go from here? Mama, let's go back to the village. I can't. Your grandmother swore never to allow me to the house until I produce her son. She said I'm the cause of your father's predicament. You mean grandma said that? Oh God. Let's go. I was just asking because, I mean, she's too nice to be messed around by you. Really? Yes. Really? The way you treat her is not good. Then you go for her, okay? You go. Go, go. On a serious note, that girl is cultured. She's well brought up. She's, she's so good. Generally, she's, she's nice. I know all that. But look, Mary and I are just two different personalities. She's too quiet for my liking. You know, I like it with more spice. In other words, what you're saying is you prefer rough girls to girls who are well brought up, well mannered. Exactly. And you, brother, you prefer the cool ones, don't you? Richard, you don't know what you have until you lose it. Professor, please keep the lectures for another day, okay? Show me this paper so I can go. It's, it's so alright. Right. Right. But you must understand that. No. Uh, Mary deserves better than that. Not her. another lady. You know, it, it's okay, come on. We'll talk about this tomorrow, okay? Yeah, my man. What's up? Hi! Hey! Hi! Mary. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> Very fine. I, you've totally forgotten about me. Oh, how can you say that? I've been asking after you. Didn't Richard tell you? No. Wow. So how is work? Work is fine, okay? <laughs> Please sit down. Where is Richard? Um, he's gone out. No, he's not around. He's gone out. Are you not going to sit down? Actually, I was going to check somebody down your street, so I decided to pop in here, see what's going on. Um, excuse me. Good day. Good day. Good day, sir. Um, how may I help you? 
By the way, who are you and who are you looking for? Mary, Mary. It's all right. Relax. I know her, okay? I know her. Come. I came to see Clara. Please um, forgive my manners. I actually thought he came to see Richie. Clara has gone back to Abuja. Just... Is there any problem? I don't want to bore you with my problem. Come on. Problem shared is half solved. Talk to me. The husband of the woman who took us in after our auntie threw us out will be arriving tomorrow. We don't want to overstay our welcome, so we have to move out before he arrives. Yeah, makes sense to me. Makes sense to me. Since the woman was kind enough to allow you people to stay with her after your auntie threw you out. Makes sense. Hey, uh, your story is quite pathetic. But um, don't you know anywhere you can stay, like a friend's place or somebody? That was why I came to see Clara, so that I'll know if she could help me. Yeah. We would have gone back to the village, but my grandmother wouldn't allow my mother to enter the house. Why? She accused her of being responsible for my father's misfortune. Really? How long has your father been in jail? About three years. Three years? <sighs> well, I have a place I can offer you guys to stay for the meantime. It's a small place, actually, a boys' quarter. Somebody's already in the main house. Thank you very much, sir. But the boys' quarter is too much. All we need is a roof over our heads. Just one room will be okay. Thank you very much, sir. It's all right. Get on, get on. Call me Ike. You know, Ike Chuku. Ike. All right? All this uh, stuff. Stop. Okay? Um, you just stay here while I rush down and get you the keys. Okay? But if you're not here by the time I come back, I'll drop it off for you. Okay? Uh, Mary, you tell Richard that I was here and I'm coming back. By the way, you look prettier when you are sad. <laughs> <laughs> Mind me, I'm just kidding. Mary, make her comfortable. Give her something to drink, you know. Right. Be cool. I'll be back. Uh, so, you don't have to worry, okay? I'll get to the kids straight away, okay? Thank you, sir. Take care of her. Offer her something to drink, you know. Maybe you can Alright, I'll be back. Later. Thank you, God, for sending this good Samaritan to us. What could I have done without this man? Eh? God Almighty, may you reward this kind man abundantly. Amen. May he never lack anything good in his life. Amen. Amen. Hey. Hmm. Mommy, check out this place. It's better than our house. Sophie, how can you say that? Uncle's house is beautiful. Only that his wife is a witch. <laughs> ben, don't speak ill of your Auntie Felicia, please. I will, Mom. In fact, I was tempted to beat her on that day she threw us out. Yes. Thank God you didn't. Hey, Mama. <laughs> May God bless Brother Ike for us. He's such a nice man. I never knew we had such nice people in this cruel world. He's an angel. See how he furnished the whole house for us. Hey, I wonder why he's doing all these things for us. Why is he so nice to us? <laughs> Just God. <clears throat> uh, why are you coughing and looking at me like that? What's the meaning of that? Mommy, I didn't say anything. No. Mom, please, can I go and inspect the compound? <laughs> Inspector. <laughs> Mama, did you see that? Sophia started again. No? It's okay. She didn't say anything now. Eh? Don't speak quarrels with her. You people should not spoil my joy for me today. Huh? Oh, my dear mom. 
Uh, you sit down. So, this place. Wash those clothes there. Don't worry, I'll wash them. Mama, there's something I want to tell you. What is it? It's about that man. Which man? Brother Ike. And what about Brother Ike? Yesterday, when I was seeing him off, he said I should come to his office tomorrow. To do what? He was talking about us getting acquainted with each other. I've been trying to discuss this matter with you. Is there anything going on between both of you? Tell me the truth, Sandra. Nothing is going on between us. Hmm. You better be careful. Mama, I don't think it's like that. Men will always be men. You can't tell with them. And besides, you are still too young to start an affair. At this age, you cannot differentiate between uh, love and infatuation. I advise you wait till you're a bit older. I just don't want you to go into any relationship now. Hmm? Do you understand? Okay, Mama. But will it prevent me from going to see me since I've already promised that I'm going? Well. If you must go, go with Sophie. And please don't stay long there. Okay. Okay. No, the thing is, um, okay, I'll get that for you. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm traveling to South Africa tomorrow. Yeah, I'll check it in South Africa. Yes. I will live in Kohli when I get there. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. Thank you. Yeah, bye. Yes, come in. Yes, Oh, yes, hello, young girls. Please come in, sit down, and make yourselves comfortable. Thank you, sir. Yeah. A nice office you've got here. Thank you. Thank you. How is Mama and Ben? Mama is fine. Ben is also fine, sir. Okay. So, um, what do I offer you people? Nothing. I won't take that. You must take something. What about you, Sandra? I don't feel like taking anything. No, 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 no. You must take something this time around. I mean, why would you go? Good. It's almost lunch time. So why don't you girls accompany me to lunch? Ooh, that would be wonderful. Great. Leave her alone, Sandra. Where do you want me to take you people? Any place of your choice. What do you see, Sister Sandra? Where do we go for lunch? It's all right. Never mind, Sandra. I'll take you girls to a place where they have a whole variety of mouth-watering dishes. You like it? We prefer African dishes like Ebane, Kusi, Sophie. Sandra, let her be. I'm sure you'll like the place where I'll take you. Okay? Shall we go? Sure. Um, I've gone for lunch. Um, just hold all calls and then tell them to call me back. I'll call tomorrow, okay? Yeah. What is this? Tell me now, what is this? Mama, a check of 200,000 naira, Mama. Mama. Mama, come inside. Sit down, sit down. 
<laughs> See, Mama, Brother Ike gave us this check of 200,000 Naira for you. What? Me? <laughs> Me? Mama, what is it now? Get off now. Mama. Hey, mama. mama, get off now. Mama. 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 Hey, mama now. Mama. Mama. Don't tell me I'm dreaming. Of course you're not. It's real, Mama. Okay. Bridget, it's real. How come? Mama, we went to the office. So he took us for lunch. And while dropping us here, he gave us this check for you. Yes, Mama. And he said you should use it to open any business of your choice. Yes. Mama, what is this mean? Why are you crying? Okay. I'm not crying, my children. I'm overwhelmed. God will bless him for me. Amen. He will never lack anything good in this life. Amen. Hey, he, he also gave Sophia now 20,000 for maintenance. Hey, but why is he doing all these things for us? Mama, can't you read the handwriting on the wall? I think he likes Sandra. Will you shut up? Parrot. It's you that is the parrot. Hey, you girls should not disturb me now. And you, mind how you talk to your elder sister. Don't mind her. Hey, Mama. Where do we keep the money? Let's share the money right away. Uh, give me. Give me. Sandra, I told you I wanted to buy some clothes with some of the money. Mama, I, I really need to see this man. At least to show appreciation for all these things he has done for you and your children. Whenever you're ready, just tell me. I'll take you to him. Good people still exist, you know. So you mean he opened up a provision store for you and stocked it with goods? Yes, sir. In fact, the admission Sandra just got now into the university. He's the one that's saying to it. Are you serious? He paid her school fees, the boarding fees, and all the fees that needs to be paid. In fact, in addition, he has opened uh, an account for her. Are you really serious? Yes. In fact, he's the one fending for my family right now. Uh, but, uh, Brother Phillips. Yes. I want to beg you. Don't quarrel with your wife. Oh. Please, I beg you. Hmm? Had it been she didn't throw us out, we wouldn't have met this man. No. This time around, that woman overstepped her boundaries. She had been a thorn in my flesh, and it is high time I did something about it. Please now, eh? Please, I beg you. There's no point quarreling with her. All you need to do to withstand her whims is little patience and endurance. You know who you are married to now. Good evening, my dear. You are welcome. Thank Please sit down. <laughs> so, how are you? I'm all right. Good evening, Baba Ike. Oh, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. So, what do I offer you? Oh, no, no, don't bother yourself, ma'am. I'm okay. Why is Sandra always running away? 
Brother, she's very shy. Don't mind this silly girl. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia. Yes, brother. Go call Sandra for me. Okay. You still haven't told me about yourself, except that you are an orphan and you run a partnership uh, business with your friend. Yeah, there isn't much to tell actually, except that I'm an orphan like you rightly observed. I didn't know my mother because she died during my birth. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know Richard, my friend. Oh, yes, I know him. His mother raised me and she became a wonderful mother figure to me. Richard's father and my father were running a successful production and marketing company, you know, in partnership. And so when my father passed on a couple of years ago, Richard's father handed over the management of the company to Richard and I. Mm -hmm. So right now we are like one big happy family. Okay, it's all right. But don't hesitate to come to me whenever you need a motherly advice. Thank you, I will always remember that. Please do. Oh, how are you, my dear? I'm fine. How are you coping with academics? Fine, thank you. Are you sure? Good. And uh, Ike, back to our discussion. Uh, don't you think it would be wise for you to settle down now? Since you are the only child your parents had. Yeah, you're right. Yes. But I won't be able to do that now, not right away. Mm -hmm. But I'll always keep it in mind. Um, I have to go now. So soon? Why not wait and eat something before you leave? Don't bother yourself, ma'am. Let me promise you I'll eat next time I'm here. I have to run along. Um, okay. Sandra, see me into the car. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Take care. Take care of yourself. out of this world. Thank Your you. cooking skill never dies. Mm -hmm. This is so delicious. I second that. Mom, yeah. you have so spoke that with your delicious recipes that not once, not once since you got married has he eaten outside. <laughs> <laughs> Who told you that? Who else? Of course Granny told me. <laughs> Look, Mom, you have to promise that you will spend some more time with us before going back to lunch, okay? Yes. yes. We miss your cooking. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you like the food. I don't blame you. Why don't you tie her with the rope? Mm. So that she won't go with me and let's put it together. Hey! Mm. No point in there, man. Hey! But, on a more serious note, I think uh, the both of you are of age. And uh, it's high time you started looking for your missing ribs. Yes. So I'll be free for you people. Richard, that's it again. <laughs> you and Dad are driving us crazy with this marriage stuff. Yeah. How old are we? Come to think of it. I wonder. Yes. Um, no, you, know, you, you are babies. Both of you are babies. But you have all it takes. You have all it takes. And um, besides, every baby is indebted to the father. And that debt is to marry and beget him another. That is another debut. I've spoken with my husband. Mm. We, we, we will marry. <laughs> when? We will marry. Yeah, <laughs> we will marry. <laughs> but, but, mm. again, this is really very good. Thank you. Uh, thank, so you. Thank, you. Sir, thank you. Please sit down. Let me call. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Did you find it difficult looking in this place? Not at all. Oh, good, good, good. So, um, 
how is everything? How is life treating you as helpers? Sandra, what's the matter with you? For more than three months now, I've been begging you to visit me. Now you're here, you don't seem to be comfortable staying with me. Why? You're afraid of me, aren't you? Sandra. There are bonds that are more than friendship. You know? Some bonds we don't understand and we don't need to understand. Love is better experience than talk about. Wow. Ain't they beautiful against your skin? I want you to always wear them. Because they represent something that binds you and I together. Stop biting your fingernails. They irritate me. I'm sorry. I'm pressed. I want to ease myself. Let's give us The food is ready. Okay. Please, do so. Yeah. Well, come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on, don't be shy. What's the matter, Sandra? You don't like the food? I do. But... The bangles. Yes, what about the bangles? You said... There are bonds we don't understand. Yes. Bonds we don't understand and we don't need to understand them. Slough. One of them. Certainly, my dear. Love is one of them. Um, but why did you say I should always put it on? Oh, come on. Don't be naive, my angel. I didn't mean for you to wear them to the toilet or to the bedroom. All I'm saying is that I would always love to see you wear them. Okay? Okay. Good. Now, are you still pressed? Do you still want to ease yourself? Stop pulling my legs, brother. I... Let's meet it. <laughs> Not like that. It's not all you think. 
Stop pretending. This handsome guy of yours is really driving you crazy. Yet you pretend as if it means nothing to you. Sandra, look at the way you were so engrossed in looking at his picture that you didn't even notice when I entered. Okay, That's Sandra. Okay, okay. I must confess. Mm -hmm. Good. Choma. I don't understand what's happening to me. I'm really going crazy. I mean, I can't concentrate on my studies anymore. And I can't get him off my mind. Hmm. Please, you need to advise me. You've got to help me now. You know now. Yes. Okay. Okay, baby girl. There's really nothing to worry about. You are in love. Mm. What you see? You are to take it easy. Does he feel the same way about you? I think so. You know, he's the same guy I told you about that gave us the house and is taking good care of all of us. Okay. The one you said is training you and your younger ones. Mm -hmm. ah, ah. Then what else are we talking about here? There's nothing to fear. Listen, Sandra. Follow your heart. He must be madly in love with you. To have done all those things you told me he did for you and your family. Yes. Huh? Hmm. Uh -uh. I'm always right now. <laughs> so, trust me. I've been waiting for Mother Axis and he still hasn't come. He will still come now. <laughs> Take it easy. Make it up to you, okay? So, Mama. Are you ready now? Well, uh, please don't if mind. You want her. us to go now? Sure. Please, please don't mind her, my son. At least rest a while. You just got here until I finish cooking, so that you eat before me. Sandra, how are you? Uh, surprise, surprise. Mm -hmm. Happy Star Wars. Welcome. Why are you frowning? Is there a problem? You weren't expecting me this weekend. There's no problem. Have you greeted Ike? Sandra! 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 What is wrong with you? It's alright, Papa, don't worry. I, let me see you the It's okay. Let me see, let me see. Sandra. What's the matter with you? Did I offend you? Just leave me alone. I won't leave you alone until you tell me the reason for this strange behavior. By the way, what brought you home? I came to give them the money you asked them to give. What? You haven't given them the money for the past two weeks? I was too busy with my lectures. <sighs> I'm sorry for badgering my own people. It's okay, Sophie. It's alright. But are we not going again? We are. Just give me a minute, okay? One minute. Where are you going with her? I'm taking her out. Do you have anything against it? 
Don't tell me you're jealous. Anyway, when are you going back to school? It's none of your business. <laughs> Yeah, now I know what's been eating you up. You are jealous. <laughs> oh my God. Have a nice day. <laughs> so, it's all right, let's go. <laughs> He dropped me and left. Then this is a nice thing for you. Don't touch my sandwich. Please. Can you give me a cup of ice cream? You must have beaten your own over there. And you're giving me just a cup. Come and touch this sandwich now, stupid boy. No, 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 May God bless Ike for me. Hmm. Look at it. Everything will just be fine for you. Oh, yeah. Take, take, take my own sandwich and keep the rest in the kitchen. Sit now. But don't go near there. Hmm. What did he say she told me? He said I should tell you. What? He said I should tell you that um, that he loves you so much. But that's what he told me to tell you now. Brother said I should tell you that he loves you so much. Brother said I should tell you that he loves you so much. Brother said I should tell you that he loves you so much. 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 Brother said I should tell you that he loves you so much. to apologize for my weird behavior in the afternoon. It's all right, my dear. I understand. Really, I understand how you feel. Now, I just want you to know that you're not competing with anybody. Nobody at all. My heart is meant for you and you alone. Okay? Now, go to bed because it's too late for my baby to be awake at this time of the night. What about you? 
How are you still awake? Because your voice doesn't sound like that when it's just speaking. Yeah, but I'm already relaxed for the night. As a matter of fact, I'm trying to read myself to sleep. So go to bed, my angel, and uh, dream of me. All right. Good night. Good night, my dear. I love you. like it? Mm -hmm. Well, I knew you would like it. You see, I come here often, you know, when I need peace and quiet. I just sit by the poolside and watch the ripples on the face of the water. I think of nothing else but peace and quiet. That's why I brought you here, my dear. Quiet time with me. <laughs> <laughs> so you just relax and be cool. I'll place our orders, okay? And leaving all alone. I just can't find Such a good man, I can't do it. I can't do it. Just can't do it. I can't do it. Can't turn my back. So, what a beautiful angel like you, doing all alone in this place. How may I help you, sir? I'm Jude, and you're. You still have not answered the question. What do you want? I think it's improper for a beautiful damsel like you to be all alone in this place. I am not alone. And even if I were, I don't think I need your company. So please excuse me. Easy. Easy. So why are you shouting? Hey! Easy. What's going on here? Huh? Jude! Ike! What are you doing here? What am I doing here? I should be the one asking you the same question. What are you doing here and on my seat? Yeah. Are both of you quarreling? Well, not exactly. So what's going on? I thought she was alone, so I decided to keep her company. But she ended up embarrassing me. Oh, my God. Listen, Jude, I, I'm sorry. See, I apologize on her behalf, okay? No problem. My dear, Jude here is a friend and a member of my staff. As a matter of fact, he's in charge of stores and procurement department. It's okay. Yeah. See you in the office on Monday. Yeah, sure. Look at that. How many times will I try to teach you how to be nice to people in public? A man walks up to you, wants to keep you company, you embarrass him and it turns out to be my staff. At your age, you still don't know how to let a man know that you don't want his company without embarrassing him. That's the way you can tell a man to jump into the lagoon and he feels happy to do it, not knowing he's going to die. What can I make of you? You don't listen. You don't understand it. It's a public place. God, sick and tired of Sandra, I, listen, I'm, I'm sorry. See, I, 
I didn't mean it. I didn't want to shout at you, but you drove me to it. Listen, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, listen, I promise it won't happen again. Okay? I, I won't let that happen again, okay? I'm sorry. Okay, dear? I'm sorry. Um, got fruit juice for you. Yeah. Uh, fruit juice? Yeah, Richard, what I'm trying to point out is that performance evaluation is very vital to an established organization just like ours. That is so true. Uh, are you suggesting that we have a formal appraisal um, program? Exactly. It will help us establish areas of weakness in the employee and then ascertain ways of further improvement. I think you have a point there. So, why don't you draw up the yardstick for measuring uh, performance, then we can take it up from there. Sure. We'll do. But I, I really, really have to go. I'm running late as it is. I have a date with Mary. Mary? <laughs> hey, Richie, man. It looks like my old wizard is falling in love. But I, there's something you need to understand. I never told you that I hated Mary. In fact, she's captured my heart. Indeed. <laughs> How would I say, okay? Yeah. All right. Have fun! All right. He's in love. <laughs> what? You mean he nearly went mad at you? My dear, I was so scared because I've never seen him go mad before. But well, anyway, he apologized later. Oh, he did. That's much better. Hey, one more thing. I need your help. Um, I want to buy him a present, but I don't know what to buy. You know he's got class. That means whatever you're going to get for him must be able to enhance his influence and status. I mean, gifts that make statements. Like what and what? Um, masculine collections like um, expensive men's perfumes and undies. What? What is it? Me? Buy him undies? Haha, <laughs> no way. I can't, I can't do that. Don't you think that will make me look wild? What do you think of me? Sandra. Sandra. Listen to me. Buying your man gifts like boxes and singlets is just an indirect way of telling him you love him and how much you love him. Mm. Are you sure? Mm. Or don't you love him? I love him so much. What are we talking about? Abed, let's go inside, Jerry. Hey, well, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, you're going through this. I really, I just can't predict Sandra. I don't know where she got all the money to buy this old stuff. Don't tell me you've already laid that innocent girl to bed. Oh, stop! <laughs> Not You're boy. caught! You're caught! How then do you explain this exactly your size? <laughs> Search me. How would I know? My guess is that somebody must have talked her into it. No, I, I know Sandra. She's a very shy type. All the same, I'm appreciative of her just to buy all this gifts for me. Who do you really think you're fooling? Me? Richard, believe me. I've not made love to her, not even once. Really? I tried, I tried. I tried once, but she refused. You know, I've always known a girl like that is very, very ready to come by. Have you proposed to her? Yeah, I have. I have proposed to her, but you know her father is still in jail abroad. And and so her mother said that uh, nothing is going to work out between me and her until um, perhaps when she graduates. Oh, but you know, that is not a bad idea, really. But all the same, I envy you. That kind of girl, she's so pretty, intelligent, she's humble, she's shaped. Mary has the same qualities, too. It's just that you, Richard, you have deliberately decided not to notice her goodness. Tell me another story, brother. 
All the same. Let's go through the goodie bag and see what Sandra has brought. Yeah, yeah. See that. Oh, this stuff is really nice, you know. These things are really very nice. I saw a shirt like this in Tower Dwarf the Petite when I went last week. It was beautiful. Yeah, Sandra, I've paid in some money into your account, okay? Don't forget to give Ben and Mama some money to take care of themselves. Especially Mama, don't forget her money for for checkup, okay? Why are you sounding like this? When exactly are you coming back? I'm not sure when I'm coming back, but what I'm sure of is that in this trip I'll get as far as Italy. I want to sign some agreement with some companies that make biscuits. I want them to start making biscuits here for my company. That means you're going to stay up to three months. Is that why you're looking sad? I'm not going to stay long. I mean, I'm, I'm going to restrain myself strictly to business and I come back. Stop that. It's going to be difficult staying away from you that month. Please, try and see if you can stay for just a month. It's alright. Um, I'm going to try and see what I can do to make it as fast as possible. Just try. As for Sophie, tell her that I've paid in some money into her account as well. So the cash I gave her is for her handouts, textbooks, and then feeding. Okay? Thank you very much. I really don't know how to thank you for all you've been doing for us. The only way you can thank me is to concentrate on your studies while I'm away. And if I refuse? I'll give you a black eye. <laughs> I'm just going to miss you, that's all. I'll miss you too, my dear. Well, um, I'll soon be back. What you are saying is that my husband will soon be released. Yes, madam. Everything is settled. I have sorted out all the problems. In a fortnight, you'll be right here in Nigeria. Hey! <laughs> it's, it's a dream, sir. I, I can't believe this. Eh? God will bless you. Amen. Amen. May He reward you abundantly for wiping away tears from my eyes. It's okay, mother. It's okay. I only did what I'm expected to do, knowing that He's from the same time with me. Hmm. Don't expect me to fold my arms and watch a king's man waste away in jail. No, 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 no. Chief, God will bless you. So, uh, thank you so much. Get up, get up, thank you. Get I up. cannot thank you enough. It's okay, it's okay. Thank you. Get up. See, it's only that uh, the information got to me late. If not, it would have been released earlier than now. All this while, nobody told me that one of my own townsmen was in prison. Hey! Nobody told me. My enemies have been put to shame. I know. Mm. <laughs> oh, God, I thank you. Yeah. Chief, yeah. may you live long. Amen. Chief, you will live long. Amen. And you too. Amen. So. Just relax, madam. Okay. We'll be right here with you. <laughs> all right. Now, I want you to preserve all that he has missed. Preserve it very well. It's very I important. Will, Lord, Chief. I will. I will, Lord. You know Chief. it. You know it. Thank you. Yeah. God bless you. Yeah, you too. So, what do I get? It's to okay. Get? It's okay. I'm only happy that. Uh, Everything is subsidized, all right. God. How am I sure something has not happened to him? It's been two months now since he traveled. No phone calls. I tried his international line several times, but all to no avail. Ah, uh, uh, Sandra. Nothing has happened to him. He will come back. After all, he told you he will stay a bit longer this time. So stop worrying yourself. Relax, okay? If he's alright, why hasn't he called? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the Baba wants you to feel his accent strongly this time. You know men are their shakara now. Relax. I just hope all is well. All is well. There's nothing wrong. All is well. Hmm? What's happening here? Ah, oh, Sophie. Nothing happened, Jerry. It's just Sandra. She's missing. I. That's all. Though. That's all. Nothing. Thank God. So how was your lectures today? Fine. Mm. I'm even missing Brother Ike the most though. Because the money in my account is exhausted. I thought he would just be gone for just one month. Sophie! Are you crazy? 
You mean you spent the hundred thousand naira I paid into your account in less than three months? Choma, hmm? didn't you see the two thirds books and the three handouts I bought just last week? So, you want to tell me that you bought two thirds books and just three handouts for hundred thousand naira? Haven't I been feeding for the past two months? And besides, I used it to buy some clothes and shoes. Okay. What happened to the maintenance money he gave to you? I used it to solve some pressing needs. Pressing needs indeed. I don't blame you. Just don't come near me for money. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I just told you. Rubbish. I don't blame you. 100,000. You just spent it. Oh, Sophie, don't make me go mad. It's okay, Sandra. It's okay. What kind of rubbish is that? Sure, ma'am. Please, I even came to ask you for something. Uh, could you borrow me like... <laughs> Papa! Papa, we are Papa is back! Papa is back! Sandra! Sandra! Sandra, Papa is back! 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 Responsibility of taking care of the children and fending for us. Sandra is in her final year. Uh, Sophia is in her second year. While Ben is still waiting for his jam result. Yeah. Incredible. Really, really incredible. Florence, My dear. do such men still exist? Yeah. I urgently need to see this man. Uh, he traveled. But as soon as he comes back, we'll see him. Papa, he wants to marry Sandra. Shut up. The dog, I tell you he wants to marry Sandra. I thought as much. It's not true, my dear. Don't mind her. He hasn't even proposed. Um, Sandra, did he say he wants to marry you? I don't know, Papa. Well, whether you know or not, I think it would be good to have such a man as a son-in-law. Yes, Papa. The man is very rich. And you like him. So, After coming back just yesterday, I'm not going home. I'm going to the right space. He's back. Daddy, are you serious? I'm serious. He just called me 10 minutes ago to tell me that he was back. So I'm going to his place. I'll spend the night. So I'll come back tomorrow. Yes, what did you say was holding him then? He talked about the show. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Before you go now, take some lesson from your teacher. When you get there, remember to play it cool. Oh. Don't show the guy you missed him too much. Otherwise, the bubble will begin shakara for you. Is that what you want? Thank you, ma. I've heard you. Let me go. Make sure you bring back some of the goodies you came back with. Don't finish it. Oh, I'll get yours for you. Take care of yourself. All right, have fun. Tomorrow. Okay, bye. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's not funny. You're actually look attractive in this dress. Really? Like this? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe slightly bigger than you are, but um, it's not bad. At least you are comfortable in it. 
<laughs> There's nothing more I can do. <laughs> it's obvious, it's mine. <laughs> but you don't even want to give it to me. <laughs> oh, yes, at least I want you to be comfortable. <laughs> Are you oh, like it? <laughs> stop it. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. Okay. I don't want to do it again. Come on. Are you really this ticklish? Or you were pretending, right? No way. I know a lot of people don't, they don't get tickled easily, but then once you touch them, they jump. Are you one of them? I'm not. <laughs> oh, stop it. You promised. You promised. You promised. You promised. Oh, my God. Lovely boy. Oh, God. I'm tired. Really? Yes. I guess I have to retire to the guest room. Guest room? Is that where you plan to sleep? Of course. What were you thinking? That I sleep on the same bed with you? No way. And what is wrong with that? Everything is wrong with that. So, good night. Catch you tomorrow. Hey, Sandra, Sandra, Sandra. If you walk out of this room, I will travel and I won't be back until after one year. <laughs> now listen. One year is not too long. Why not make it, let's say, 10 years? Who cares? You care. And I know it. I know you uh, care. Come on. Sandra, come. Sit down. On a serious note, I know why you're trying to avoid me. But I promise you, I'm not going to stalk you, okay? Are you giving me your word? Have I ever misbehaved before? <laughs> How would I know? At least I have not slept in your house before. All right, all right. Let me give you my word one more time. I will not misbehave. Are you satisfied now? <laughs> yes. So, shall we go to bed then? Why not? Good, let's go. Shadow never grow less. Amen. May God replenish your strength Amen. and your stock. Amen. And we thank you once again. Yes, so you're welcome. You see, we'll do the much we can. You know, we thank God for His mercies. So hold on, let me call my driver to drop you. Okay, okay. okay. Thank you very much. My eye. It's all right. It's nothing. It's a very good machine. Very good one. Don't want him to get better. Buy you one. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's a good car. Um, I sent a memo around all the officers detailing a meeting for today. I hope you're aware of it. Of course, I can find it. Hello? Hello, who's speaking, please? Dr. Steven? From what hospital?
do it. I can't do it. Just can't do it. Doctor, 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 doctor. I'm so sorry for bothering you like that. But please, I'm looking for Mr. I. Yes, thank you, doctor. Please, I'm looking for Mr. I. One of the accident victims brought here yesterday. Yeah, he's fine, he's fine. No problem. Just thank you. Please, can I see him now? No, you cannot see him because he's still unconscious. You know? Ah, is that bad? Uh, please, Doctor, I need to see him. I'm his brother and friend. If you must do that, take it quietly. No problem at all. Uh, doctor, please, uh, where is he? Please, excuse me. There's still one thing I would like you to know. What is it, Doctor? The accident affected the spinal cord. Staff nothing to worry about. The only one who would have been an obstacle here is already out of the way. I will do all in my power to make sure she accepts your proposal. I mean, if not for your contacts, I wouldn't be free by now. So I really owe you a lot. I know that. Uh, please do that for me. She's such a lovely girl with good home training. I've spent all my life searching for a girl like that. <laughs> well, I'm happy to hear that. Yes. And I tell you that it's going to be all right. It's really a privilege having somebody highly connected and worthy like you as a son-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mr. Lord, if you do me that favor, I will make sure you go back to Italy to run one of my companies. What? Are you trying to pull my leg off? Of course, I mean it. If I marry your daughter, you will see what I will do for you and your family. Yes. For a start now, my duplex in Victoria Island is automatically yours. I love your daughter very much, but she doesn't seem to like me. Don't worry. Is it not my daughter we're talking about here? <laughs> She's all yours for asking. <laughs> you know women and their initial chakra. If she doesn't make guy, how does she increase her value? That's yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Don't worry. That's person, very good. I will reject her. Don't worry, I know she's my daughter. Okay, I know you love her. <laughs> well, Sandra, I'm still waiting for your answer. I'm sorry, sir. I can't marry you. I'm in love with someone else. You mean Ike? Yes. And I have accepted to marry him. Sandra, are you telling me that you've accepted to marry a paralyzed man? He's my choice. Do you have a problem with that? Oh, wait, 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 Sandra. Are you trying to pull my legs or what? Tell me that you're just joking. I'm serious. It's either Ike or no one else. 
uh, Sandra, you're a young girl. Angels like you have no future with people like that. With due respect, sir. Stop calling Ike names. I love him so much. He's my life. My world. And the very essence of my existence. Stop wasting your money and time on me. Uncle Pete. Read my lips. I can't marry you. Period. Good day. I can't marry that man. Even if he likes, let him spend his life savings on us. I won't marry him. Sandra, my daughter, I understand how you feel. I quite appreciate all that I did for us. I've always wanted him to be my son-in-law, but it's like fate has decided against it. He's now paralyzed and cannot marry you. Just listen to yourself. This is the same man that came to our rescue when every other person turned their backs on us. Even Uncle Ambrose, Papa's only brother, he turned his back on us when we needed help. And now you want me to abandon him just like that? Mama, I can't. Peter is willing to pay him back every cobble he has spent on this family. And in addition, compensate him. Papa, Ike doesn't need Uncle Peter's money. I love Ike the way he is. I want to marry him, paralyzed or not. God forbid. You must be insane to think that will allow you to dig your own grave. You don't seem to know what it is for someone to suffer from paralysis. I can see that this eye has beclouded your sense of reasoning. Mm -hmm. If not, how would you prefer him to a, a man who is connected and high, highly wealthy? Now you listen. For your information. I owe Peter a lot. If not for him, I'll still be languishing in jail. Papa, I appreciate all that he did for you, but I can't marry him. Ike is my choice. Will you shut up? You will marry him whether you like it or not. You're not even happy he looks in your direction when he has a thousand and one women to pick from. For your information, he's getting me back to Italy to manage one of his companies. And don't you blow that opportunity. All I know is that I'll never be his wife. I can see that you're mad. Totally mad. And as long as I remain the head of this family, I will control your madness. My decisions are irrevocable. On this matter, you must marry Peter. Spaghetti, just a little spaghetti and lots of vegetables. Okay, sir. Okay? Mm. I'll get them. All right. You'll come back later for the call. Okay, sir. Ah! Who do we 
have here? Welcome, sir. Is everything all right, sir? All right. I am not here to exchange pleasantries with you. I came here to warn you for the last time to leave my daughter alone. But, sir, I mean... I Don't mean... you, sir, me. I'm willing to refund all the money you spent on my family while I was away. And in addition, compensate you. Sir, you don't understand. Are I... you deaf? I said I want you to leave my daughter alone. Peter has paid a dowry on her head. She now belongs to him. As for the house you rented for them, I'll bring the keys next week because we have moved into our own apartment in Victoria Island. So prepare all the lists of whatever you spent on my family and I'll write you a check to that effect. For the last time, leave my daughter alone. my darling I <laughs> I wonder how I would have done it without him. Thank yeah. you. Thank wow. you. Wow. <laughs> I that's so nice. God. Thank you so much. You really tried for her. <laughs> Sandra, you have to ever be grateful to him. I and I trust you, you know what? I hello, you so hello, hello, hello. Hi. <laughs> I'm fine, welcome. Wait. I missed you. Can someone tell me what's going on here? I mean, what are you celebrating? It's a surprise package. Why is, it, why is this old place laid out elaborately? Guess. We are I'm, guests. I'm tired of guessing guests. Tell baby, tell Talk him. To me, tell, what is it? We are celebrating my graduation. <laughs> Whoa, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, why didn't you tell me about this earlier? Why didn't you tell me about this earlier? Like I told you, it's a surprise package. Well, you're here now, don't you like it this way? Congratulations, girl. Congratulations. Uh, so, but what do you have in stock for me? Oh, just you wait, Richard, until you see the delicacies that they prepare for you. <laughs> really? Oh, you're saying a drink, yeah? We'll be right back. Yeah, we'll be right back. Ah, terrible day, terrible day. So, how's it been? Ah, I've been stuck in traffic like half of the day. I know, especially with the terrible way our roads are. I'm telling you. Like I would have said that like if riding a horse. <laughs> it was all bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. I know. But <clears throat> the cash transfer was broken, but. Oh, here you are. Sweet hands. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yes. Thank you. I told you. It's appetizing. I told you. It's appetizing. <laughs> out of this world. This really tastes nice, you know? It really? Yeah. Thanks. Just the way you mama makes it. <laughs> you love food. I told you about the life. Don't mind him, Jerry. He likes it so much. Maybe. My major concern now is whether they're going to post me for my new Yeah. And that's always the problem. But come to think of it, what do you want as and where do you want to serve? I think you step out of the country. Like, um, Inugu, Imo, Abia. I would even prefer an ambrose to Yeah? Yeah. My dear, there will be no problem with that. I will use my contact and get you put it to anywhere you want to serve. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Go on, Sandra, you're a lovely girl. Ah, Come on, don't think that to me. You think I don't see yeah. all your tricks, eh? You're trying to get her posted near you so that you two can start off where you left off, right? Uh -huh. just Are you, you jealous here? Yeah. Yeah. Don't be old fucks. <laughs> Always plotting a Konami. You just want her to be happy, that's mm. all. Just one person to be happy. Thank you. Congratulations again, y'all. Congratulations. Thanks. Woman, 
Look at the time. Fifteen minutes to midnight. And your daughter is not home. What am I going to do now? Only God knows where she has gone to. Sandra has really changed since she graduated. I hope this girl will not kill me in this house one day. You knew her whereabouts all this while I never bothered to tell me? And you didn't even tell me your mother. She won't be serious enough to tell anybody. Now where did she go to? Are you deaf? Where did she go to? And don't you tell me she went to that guy's house. That is where she went to. My God, oh. Sandra has killed me. I don't know what to do. A man has got to do what he's got to do. But mom, you and dad can't keep harassing Sandra as if she was a little child. She's not a big girl and besides, she just graduated and will soon be leaving for the youth service. You can't keep policing her like this. For how long will you do that? Please shut up. Well, it feels good. That's so good at it. Do you know that every time you finish this, I feel so relaxed? Really? Yes. Uh, I guess that will be the whole thing. Oh, no, no, no. Please, go to the center of my back. Where? At the center. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> this is good. Yeah. Uh, it feels really good. <laughs> not too good. Let me go and get your food ready, okay? Okay, thank you. Search everywhere for her. What? What was it? Come back here! Come, come back! So, this is a check for 3 million naira in acquisition of all you did for my family. What nonsense? What's the meaning of this? Stop insulting me. Peter has issued this check in your name to balance up for all the support you gave to my family while I was away. I know you did not spend up to 3 million naira, but you can keep the remaining change. And stay away from Sandra. Leave my house. I said leave my house. What an insult. I pity your condition. If not, you would have known who John Uno is. Leave me alone! 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 Leave me This is the key to the apartment you rented for my family. Keep away from her. What am I doing to this place? Why? 
into your home and harassing you like that. I mean, for crying out loud, who on earth does he think he is? The worst part now is that I've grown so used to Sandra that I can't imagine life without her. I just can't. It's okay. I understand how you feel. No, you don't. You don't understand how I feel. I mean, that I'm still alive today, clinging to life is because of her. She's the only thing that I've got. Can't you see? Brother Ike, look, why don't you let go of her? I mean, forget about her. What? What did you say? Did I hear you well? The earlier you forget about her, the better for you. You know you can't have a while a parent to steal her life. No. Let's be realistic. I know you love her very much as I do. But. Her parents will not, owing to your present condition, allow her to marry you. <laughs> that is the bitter truth. <laughs> and you have to accept it. this wonderful opportunity knocking at your door. What's wonderful in marrying an old widower like Uncle Peter? Look, Sandra, Peter is not an old man. A man is as old as he feels. It's only a woman who's as old as she looks. Aren't you even happy that a man like Peter is interested in you? Look, he just gave us this big house as our own for a start. I wonder what he will still give us when he finally marries you. Plus all that loud waffling offers. That's why you're trying to sweep me away just like that. I'm ashamed of this. All he wants is money at the expense of my happiness. Oh, God. Sandra, my daughter, I'm only interested in your welfare. I'm your mother. I carried you in my womb for nine agonizing months. I know the pains I went through in bringing you and your younger ones up. And I will not watch you ruin your life by marrying this girl. God forbid. In that case, I'll remain single for the rest of my life. Will you shut that mouth of yours up before I shut it up? Go leave her, woman. Let her remain single. You think if you remain single, the world will come to a standstill? You are lying. Let me tell you, you can choose to. But this house will not accommodate you and I. No, my husband. It, it hasn't come to this. Why then, Baba? What harm is more grievous than what he has done? Shut up! Stupid girl. I will not shut up. I'm an adult and I choose whom to marry. You don't choose for me. Yeah. <laughs> Have you finished? No problem. But let me warn you. The sheep that must grow horns must have a strong skull.
very terrible situation. <laughs> very good. Two of them running toxic turvies, <laughs> blowing the wind. <laughs> so and then, was that yeah, it's so, what so, was so that funny, happen? I'm telling you. There was these two beefy young men running up to this old man, right? <laughs> and they just felt, hey, good afternoon, madam. How are you? Well, I am hanging in there. Thank God for today. Uh, let me get you a chair, sir. Thank you very much. I just want to pass on a message and, and leave. A message? Wow. What message, madam? <sighs> Ike, my son. I want to beg you to leave Sandra alone. She's not in her right frame of mind. She's still too young to know what she really wants. You know I've always wanted you to be my son-in-law, but fate has decided against it. So, madam, you came all the way to tell me just this. And uh, yes, you know you can't marry her due to your helpless condition. Or do you want her to be saddled with the responsibility of taking care of a crippled husband at this tender age? I know now. Eh? So please, I beg you, talk to her. Talk some sense into her. Enough, enough, enough woman. So, you have come here to inflict more pain on his already aggrieved heart. Shame on you. Haven't you and your greedy husband done enough already? Now get out of this house before I lose my temper and throw you out. Please, let, let her be. Calm down, okay? Calm down. It's not my fault. It's not her fault. But Richie, you got it wrong. Eh? All I'm actually saying Look, is enough! But I am so sorry. Look, get out of this house now before I do something terrible. But I oh, I said out! Out! That is the way out. disappointed in you, Florence. I appreciate all he did for me and my family. Philip, if you were in my shoes, you would have done the same thing. If Sandra were your daughter, would you give her to a, a paralyzed man to marry? An invalid? Let's be realistic. Look, what I am saying is that even if you don't want this man to marry your daughter, fine. But there are other better ways of telling him that instead of harassing him every here and there. Look, that man is too good to merit all these things you and your husband are doing to him. I only did what I'm supposed to do as a mother. I want the best for my daughter. Sandra is still too small, too young to know what she really wants. She's no longer a baby. She is grown up enough to know what she wants. She is now a graduate. Leave her to marry the man she loves. Why don't you give him your own daughter to marry? Since you so like him. <laughs> uh, Florence, this is not a question of liking him. It is about applying caution in whatever you are doing. Because the way things are now, if you force your daughter to marry the man she doesn't love, it will wreck her emotionally and that will affect her both mentally and physically. There are no two ways about that. I've heard you. But I will appreciate it if you keep your hands off this. Sandra is my own daughter, not yours. So please leave me to handle it the way I want. Oh. Okay. That's all. But I hope you do not do something you will regret later.
Yes. This car hey. is too expensive now. Hey! You shouldn't have come for this type of car. Oh, come on, okay. Nothing is too expensive for my Hi. angel. See, this is just a small gift. <laughs> you see what I've been telling you? You see? A Nissan Primera for you. Hey! <laughs> Ilo, I'm coming. Let me go and prepare something for you. Just my hey. special. <laughs> Just last month you bought this one for me. Now this month you have bought this one for my daughter. God bless you. Uh, Mr. Dodd, this is just the starting point. You, a lot more awaits you if after I married your daughter. <laughs> I thank God for giving me an elder like you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> anyway, let me give both of you some time to discuss. It's okay. God bless you. It's okay. Ah, uh, uh, yes, Sandra. How do you see the car? Don't you like it? Of course, I love it. A nice car. Oh, that gives me the happiness I want. Come on, now, give me a Take your hands off me. Sandra. See, you just use this for a while. I'm going to get you something bigger than this. Come on, man. Old fool. Now listen. I'm warning you for the last time. Leave me alone. I will never marry you. What's going on here? Why are you shouting? Could you imagine your daughter slapping me? What? She slapped me! Are you mad? I'm not mad. He hasn't seen anything yet. In love, in love, in love, in love, in love, please. She's a small girl, please. Okay. We know Sandra is here. To avoid any embarrassment, bring her out right now. Why are you sounding like this? You cost it. How many times have I warned you to stay clear of her? Yes, you won't listen. I love Sandra so much that I find it difficult to let her go. What does a cripple know about emotions? The fact that I'm crippled, madam, doesn't mean that I am bereft of emotions. You don't have any sensitive bones in your system. If not, you would have known you don't have a future with her. Now bring her out right now before I lose my mind. Bring her out now? Anne. Anne! Please come. Call Sandra for me. Okay, sir. As I said before, I love Sandra so much. Everything I did for your family, I did as a result of that love. But I'll let her go. I let go of her because I don't want to, I don't want to jeopardize her future. things stand now. I want you to find another man, get married and forget about me. Don't you want me around you anymore? Look at me, Sandra. I am totally dependent, completely crippled. I cannot offer you any meaningful future. I am doing this because of the love I have for you. I don't want to ruin your future, my baby. <laughs> I don't want to be here any longer. I hate you. I hate you.
Did you hear that? She hates you. She hates you. Stay close of her. Morris, let's go. Now you haven't eaten any food. You and I well know why Brother Ike acted the way he did. Ike loves you very much. He doesn't want you to take pity on him, hence he asked you to go. of Ike. I went to his place like three times this week, but the gate was locked. Where is he? Where has he gone to? I thought you knew. Knew what? Ike has gone to London for advanced treatment. And he won't be coming back. given me enough trouble to last me for a lifetime. If she's the girl I know, then somebody would have aided her in planning all this. Imagine she left with all her things. I'm going to all her friends and no one seemed to know her whereabouts. She couldn't have gone to Ike's place because Ike is no longer in the country. Then where could she have gone to? Your daughter wants to be a cog on the wheel of my progress. And Peter's patience is already running out. Oh, you are still talking of money and what you stand to gain while our daughter is missing for a week now. You better go and look for my daughter because you cost all these things. Who cost what? 
Were you not the one who wanted to live in a mansion? And were you not the one who's anxious to go back to Italy for business? So what is wrong with my going back to Italy? Everything is wrong. Because this time, there will be no pits to release you from jail. Now you will get ever near me. Please, don't turn your back on me. Eh? Where do I go from here? Please. You can go to any place for all I care. Since you did not keep your part of the deal, you don't expect me to keep mine. I shouldn't blame your daughter. I blame myself. It was all my fault. If I was not such a blind fool, I would have known that it was too dangerous forcing a woman on myself. But she taught me a bitter lesson of life. Just be patient. She, 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 she's just missing. For how long? For how long? She's missing for one month and some weeks. Who knows? Who knows if she has gone to meet her lover boy over there? And you're here asking me to wait. Anyway, I'm no longer interested in her. Yes, I have to find a woman that loves me and takes care of me. Anyway, my men will be coming to the house this week. To eject you and your family. Yes. And I advise you to cooperate with him and submit all that is in your possession, including the car I bought for you. No, sir. It hasn't gotten to that. It hasn't gotten to that. Please. You know I don't have a job. We'll find her. And I mean, where do I go from here? Please. Take your family to the village. That is where you people belong. Oh. I remember. You and your children came to that house with only a glass. And you must live there in likewise manner. Expect my people. It's nice knowing you. Please. Don't do this to me, please. Please. Such a good man. <laughs> that was very nice. So please, let's talk about something more serious. How about your husband and your child? They're fine, no. I'm happy for you. How about your parents? Well, they're all right, if I may say so. When was the last time you visited them? Um, that should be two weeks ago. But I'll be going to see them by, by the weekend. That's nice. But well, that pit of a man, I was very wicked and heartless. He's not, Chioma. My parents deserve all he did to them. They're there in the village reaping the fruit of their greed and ingratitude. Chioma, could you believe that? I've not been able to save 20,000 naira ever since I started working. Could you believe that? What? Sandra, wait, 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 wait. wait. Sandra, are you trying to tell me that for the past two years that you stay working, you've not been able to save up to 20,000 naira. Sandra, tell me, what exactly are you doing with your money? My sister, how can I save? Eh, how can I, when the responsibility of catering for the entire family falls on me? Yeah. My parents are there in the village. They've been there for nearly three years now, doing nothing. I'm doing anything for them. But what about Sophie and her husband? Are they not helping out? Mm, well, Sophie hasn't gotten a job yet. Yeah. Eh, but as for the husband, eh, he's a very stingy man. <laughs> Could you believe my parents have not seen a kubo from him ever since he performed her traditional marriage? Are you serious? <laughs> he's the man that's stingy. He is. <laughs> but I think he's the kind of man that suits my parents. They are there in the village, regretting the way they treated Ike. They think all men are like Ike, who lavished his hard-earned money on us. Talking about Ike, what about him? Sandra, honestly, I think it's high time you forgot about him. Then move on with your life. Yes. Chill. Did you say forget about him? Oh God. Chuma, 
You don't seem to know the trauma of being abandoned by a loved one. You don't know. I do. I know exactly what you're talking about, Sandra. But you see, the simple truth is that whatever happened, life must go on. Take a closer look at yourself. You don't lead a normal life anymore. You don't mix with people. You don't go out. All you do is go to work, come back home, prisoner at work, prisoner at home. Sandra, tell me, is that all you think there is to life? Hmm? How do you expect me to be done? When I get left with part of me, how do you expect me? Sandra, listen to me. You're my friend, and I cannot deceive you. It's been three years now since I left, and he is not coming back. Mm -mm, he's not. Do you know what I want you to do? Just forget him. And move on with your life, please. Hmm? That reminds me. Tony was at my office yesterday. And said, uh, Sandra, please give him a chance. Tony really loves you. Accept his proposal, please. I don't think I need a man. I can't imagine myself getting married to another man, except Ike. No way. But Ike is not coming back for crying out loud. Sandra, tell me, what exactly is wrong with you? What? For how long do you think you're going to continue like this? You need a man. Chioma, spare me the pain, okay? Really? Yeah. Fine. If that's the way you want it, remain single. Mm -hmm. Stay like this. I'm your friend, Sandra, please. Square meals for my family. It shall never be well with Peter who put me in this kind of condition. It shall never be well with Peter. I heard you talking when I was coming in. Who are you talking with? Nobody. I was talking to my boss. Let me go and uh, gather some pounds for the goats. Because I intend to sell the goats next week to pay my debts. At least let the goats feed well before I sell them. But when will you be going to Lagos to see Sophie's husband over the money he promised to give you? In two days' time. Two days? Is that not too far? Remember, we've exhausted all the money we have. Why not make it tomorrow morning? Uh, no, no. There's a kindred meeting tomorrow. But that meeting will not put food on our table. Remember, we don't have any food stuff in the house anymore. Hey? I think you have a point there. Uh, that meeting can wait. I'll travel tomorrow morning. Uh, let me go and gather the pants. You said you'd be going tomorrow for your aunt, Enter. Yes, I feel some pains by the side. Yeah, come in. But when you get to the house of the village, you will rest into the house of the doctor. Ah, Papa! <laughs> Papa! Hey, <laughs> Rob! Hey, Rob! She's fine, she sent her greetings. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. I can see you are taking very good care of my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> it is written all over her. You can see that. Papa, please then can prepare something for you. Yeah, hurry up. Okay, my daughter. Okay, okay. 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 I mean, how are the people in the village? Yeah, they are fine, they are fine. How are you people coping? Well, we are there. I came as we discussed. You know, you asked me to come this morning to give me something to start business. You see, yes, in law, I ask you to come. You see, I would have loved to help you. But my business is in a very bad shape now. Very bad shape. Like I told you about my containers that was seized six months ago. 
is really affecting me. Yes, you told me, but uh, you asked me to come this morning. I thought by now they would have been released. That was why I told you to come this month. Things are very bad. Things are very bad. Right. But I believe God, uh, just a matter of time, it will be okay. So what do I do now? I wouldn't know, you know. What I know is just a matter of time. Things will be okay. This will be on my way now. Papa, you know, your food is ready. Please come uh, on. The food is ready, you know. Uh, my daughter, uh, don't bother. I don't think I have appetite for anything. I must be on my way. Papa, what happened now? Please come and eat your food now. It's okay. I have to be on my way. I want to be in the village before it gets dark. Hello, you know, since you insist you're going, you don't want to eat. Okay. Let me drop you at the park. No, no, don't worry. Just take care. Thank you. What happened here? Why was my father's face like that? He came to ask for money and I told him everything. Things are bad. You mean you sent my father away the second time empty handed? Sophia, what could I have done? You know things are bad, you know that. And you know I have a project at hand. So what do you want me to do? That's what you keep saying when anytime any of my people come here for help. But if it's your own people, you give them money. Don't worry. It's me and you in this house. <laughs> I guess I have to leave you here. Sandra! I am endlessly dying for you. Please marry me. That's all I need. So that I can live, eat, sleep, and move like a normal human being. Look, Tony. You got to go. Because I have to get back to the office. Look, Sandra. I love you. I'm ready to lay down my heart for you. That's all I need so that I can live. Look, Tony. You are a nice man. I don't have anything against you. It's just that I can't marry you. I'm in love with someone else, can't you see? But Choma told me the man left you broken hearted. And so what? Whether he left me heartbroken or not, it's none of your business. And besides, stop bothering me. Because I don't want to be responsible for any emotional distress, disturbance or whatever you want to call it. You may leave now. Sandra! back so soon. We, I wasn't even expecting you today. What happened? Money has really disgraced me. How is Sophia and the husband? Oh, stop asking me questions. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. How much did he give you? How much did he give you? Aren't you going to tell me what happened between you and Ken? Or am I no longer your wife? that your son-in-law is a Jezebel of a man. He didn't even give me transport money. Huh? Oh. oh. But why is all this happening to us now? Who am I going to run to for help? My only son had to leave school because of financial problems. Really if we had known, we 
wouldn't have beaten the finger that fed us. Eh? If we had not treated Ike badly, we wouldn't be suffering like this. Be suffering like this. Eh? This is a man that took her family as his own. But I, I told you, I warned you, you wouldn't listen. You don't have to blame me that much. I was blinded by Peter's money and his empty promises. I don't see where my greed and ungratefulness has landed me. Will I get a son in law like I did again? I can now see why Sandra insisted on marrying Ike. Even on a wheelchair, one can't fail to see his good soul. Coming back in two weeks' time to see you. Then, Mama, please. Thank you. My name is Thank you, my dear daughter. Thank you. Please, my daughter. Uh, try and reconsider your stand about the three men who have been coming to ask for your hand in marriage. Eh? I will never go back on my words. Since you and Mama have succeeded in driving away the mother, that means everything to me. Ike is not coming back. Please try and choose from this man. Yes. Don't bring a shame on us. I know I've made a mistake, but we must not live with that mistake. Moreover, your younger sister Sophie has gotten married and is going to put to bed any time from now. And what about that, Papa? What about that? At least thank God she's gotten married to someone she loves, while you were able to drive away the man I love. So just forget about this marriage stuff. It's not for me. I'll remain single for the rest of my life, since that's what you want. Oh, please, my daughter, don't talk like that. And Papa, if both of you want to see me in this house again, don't remind me of settling down. Sorry, my daughter, but uh, don't run away again, please. Uh, well, you know we now depend on you. Uh, one more thing, when you go back to Lagos, uh, tell Sophie's husband to remember what I discussed with him the last time I came. Papa! You people should stop disturbing Sophie's husband. He doesn't run a charity organization. Was it not another man that trained his wife? Anyway, I'll see what I will do about it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you. I have to give on my ring. Okay. 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 And as for Ben, Sophie and I are making plans on how you go back to school. So please take care of yourself. This is the best news I've had in three years. God bless you, my daughter. Thank you, Papa. Thank you. 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 From where will I get the money? You don't seem to understand what I've been telling you. I don't have any cover in this house. The last money I had, I used to pay Okoye after he disgraced me in the marketplace. And I'm still owing him 2,000 naira. Oh. And I don't have any money either. What am I going to do now? 
Maybe you go to Mamuju and ask her to lend you some money. Mamuju again? The last money I borrowed from her, I have not paid, and you want me to go back to Mamuju? Hey. I'm the architect of my own misfortune. I now know it is not good to pay good with evil. You're wearing a long face. Why won't I wear a long face? When you have refused to pay me back my money! Yes. Take it easy. Be patient. And there's no need to shout. Look, because my daughter has not come for over a month, now that's why I'm still giving me your money. But immediately she comes, I'll bring your money. Please. I did not give my money to your daughter! I gave my money to you! Oh, please now. Hey, please. We don't have any money in the house now. Why not wait until our daughter comes, please? No, 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 woman! I have run out of patience with your husband! Is it that I collect my money today? Or I will go in there and pick something that is equivalent to my money there? Please, now. Eh? We don't have any money now. I beg you. I, I don't have time to wait. You know what? Please, now. Come on, now. Excuse me, woman. No, hey, don't do this now. I'm going to hold on to this until when you bring my money back. That 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 radio has FM and AM band though. You cannot. Look at you. How can he carry my FM radio? Because of three thousand naira. How can he? You don't my radio. Please try and live in peace with your husband. I know, Mama. Please tell Papa we are here. No, no, no. I will. No problem. Actually, we are here. Why don't you give Mama something? You just can't visit them without giving them some money. I told you I was not coming. And you insisted on coming to see her. I don't have any money with me. If you have any, give her. Why are you doing this to my parents? You can't just visit your in-laws without giving them some, some... I don't have any money. This is not fair, you know it. I know how much you gave your uncle yesterday. Ken, what have my parents done to you? Sophia, if you're not ready to go, I'm ready. Okay? Uh, Sophia, yeah. is there any problem? No, uh, no, no problem. Mama. <laughs> mama, please. In law, in law. My dear, it's 2,000 naira. Hey, oh, my daughter. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. In law, okay. Okay, but drive gently. No, uh -huh. Brother Ike gave us this check of 200,000 Naira for you. Yes, ma'am. What? Me? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Me? Hmm. The likes of Ike are rare to come by. I would have listened to my brother. transport just to be here. I'm so concerned about your welfare. I'm even glad I met your friend here. Mama, do you know I have tried everything humanly possible to make her see reasons with me, but how to know have you? My dear daughter, age is no longer your friend. A woman's beauty fades as the day passes by. 
this man told me your friend is talking about, I beg you, consider him. Sandra, listen to your mother. She cannot deceive you. I am sure I must have gotten married by now. Maybe the two of you are not meant to be man and wife. Sophie, your sister, has already put to bed. And me, ever since I got married, my life has been filled with moments of high drama. I am even expecting my second baby. Sandra, please be wise. Please. How, how, how do you expect me to marry someone I don't have feelings for? My daughter, Sandra, love is something that develops. Eh? If you give it time, you will see it will come. I can't, Mama. I don't think I'll be able to love again. My heart is meant for I can love. Sandra, do yourself a very big favor. Try as much as you can to erase his memories completely from your mind. Ike is not coming back again. Can't you see? Okay. Let's do it like this. Why not date Tony for three months? See if you will like him. If you don't, you leave him. Nobody says it must be him. Abi Mama. My daughter, that is, is true. Give this to me a chance. I know with time you will like him. I can't. I can't. It's okay now. It's okay. Stop crying, my daughter. Please. Please. I know your father and I have caused you so much pain. But please forgive us. Please, people made mistakes, but we cannot keep living on it. I beg you, consider this man, because you have to settle down. A woman without a husband is like a house without a roof. Mm. A woman's husband is her pride. Say I was going to get married to her. And it's okay, it's okay. Just sleep over it like you've said. Mm -hmm. So, what do I offer you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you know, this is also my house, so anything. <laughs> For more than three months now, I've been begging you to visit me. Now you're here. You don't seem to be comfortable staying with me. Why? You're afraid of me, aren't you? Sandra. There are bonds that are more than friendship. You know? Some bonds we don't understand and we don't need to understand. Love. I ain't that beautiful like yours to us I want you to always wear them because they represent something that binds you and I together. I
When it's such a good man, I can't do it. I can't do it. Just can't do it. But I won't do it. I can't turn my back on my good Samaritan. It's so good. Uh, from the look of things, you're married, are you? Yes, Richie. Ken and I have an eight months old baby. Ken? Ken is my husband. Congratulations, congratulations. Thank you. How is Sandra? I bet she too must be married by now. Sandra, my sister, is still single. How come she never tried to get in touch with me all this time? She knows my office and she knows my home. But I don't know where she lives. You don't have to blame her too much. She's been through a lot ever since Ike left. And she probably might not want to see people that will remind her of Ike. That is so true. Hey, but, Sophie, how do I locate her? I mean, where does she live? I don't think she'd like to see you. Why, Sophie, why? Seeing you is like opening an old wound. Sophie, look, you have to help me on this one, okay? Please. I just want to know where she is. I just want to see her. It's been close to a year since I saw her last. Please, Sophie, please. 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 Okay, okay. She now works with Amanda Beverages. Do you know the company? Amanda Beverages, yeah. Oh, yes, I know the place. I do. I do know the place. Be careful, Richie. I don't want my sister hurt again. Sophie, leave that to me, okay? I know how to handle her. I do. She won't be. Right. So what of Ike? Have you been hearing from him? Oh yes, oh yes. I hear from him. You know, we always communicate. Even though I haven't seen him close to a year now, but we do communicate all the time. Yeah, thank you. So what brings you here? I came to do some surprise shopping for my wife, you know. But I don't really know what to pick up this I mean from here. Um if you don't mind, please you could help me with the shopping. Mm, we have quite some nice things, but what kind of things does she like? <laughs> you know, just know she's into conservative materials and all that. Um, yeah. Do you think she would like this one? The coat is fine, but she won't like the color. Are you serious? Yeah, she won't like the color. She doesn't like this color at all. Are you sure Kelvin will not lose his senses when he sees you in this outfit? <laughs> he cannot swallow his head. Please, Sandra. What? But please, can you lend me those bangles of yours? I need to wear them on my right hand. Um, you see, Jane, you know I share everything I have with you. Yes, yes. But these bangles, they are very special gifts from a very special friend of mine. Please, I can't share it with anyone. Try and understand, eh? It's okay. At Ola? Jane, please try and understand. Sam, it's okay. I understand. All right. See you later. Yeah, take care. Bye-bye. I hope you're coming next week. I sure will. <laughs> All right, bye. Yes, come in. The door is not locked. Richie! 
I know you're very surprised to see me. How did you find this place? Well, I ran into your sister Sophie last month at the boutique and she gave the address to your office. From there, I located you. Okay, please sit down. Thank you. So, what can I do for you? <sighs> yes, come in. Now I'm tired, baby. I'm back. Yeah. Come on. Hey. Sandra. Sandra. What's going on here? Sandra. Sandra. Sandra, please talk to me. Talk to me, baby. What? Sandra. 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 Listen, Sandra. You gotta believe me. Okay. Believe me, babe. What did I do to you? Could it be that I offended you unknowingly? Could it be that someone stole your heart and replaced it with something else? You abandoned me for three good years and made me an object of ridicule before my friends. Now listen, my dear, I'm sorry, okay? I'm really deeply very sorry for all I put you through. That wasn't my intention. I left for good. All I ever wanted for you was happiness. Besides, I couldn't stand the sight of you being married to another man, so that's the reason why I left in the first place. And you never bothered to ask after me. How can you say that, my dear? I was asking after you all the time. Look at Richard here, ask him. I was asking him, but he didn't know where you were. It's true, Sandra. You know, after the last incident at my place, we kind of lost contact. Please, try and reason with him. Reason with who? You want me to reason with someone I inflicted a deep cut in my heart? Sandra, I thought you were married. That's why I stayed back abroad after the successful operation that put me back on my feet. Sandra, Sandra, please try and understand. He flew in as soon as he learned that you're still single. Yeah. You don't seem to know the unimaginable pain I took before because of him. Since I snatched my heart away, I've remained incomplete. He left an open wound. And all he could say is that he's sorry. Yeah. Have you exhausted all you know? I ask you, Sandra, have you exhausted all you know? No, 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 Richie, let me talk to her. Do you even know what I've been going through these past three years? I ask you again. Do you know why up to now I have, I'm not married while all my mates are married with kids? Sandra, do you know what pain, humiliation, agony that I've been through in your parents' hands just because of you? Sandra, do you know that up to now I just did Stop it, stop it! I can't bear this any longer. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's alright. It's alright. I, I didn't mean to shout at you. I was upset. I mean, I, I missed you all this while. I really missed you. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> it's alright. That's just it. Ike? Ike? Yes, my dear. It's like you're brooding over something. What can it be, if I may ask? Well, um, I was just wondering if you still want to marry me. I mean, considering what where the phones have been through. Listen. You don't seem to understand what you mean to me. You are my love. My life. I, you are my world. I'm ready to marry you. Anytime. Any day. Anywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so glad. 
For this one, you have life. I have not. Hey, Sandra. Sandra. Papa, Sandra. He's walking. He can walk, oh. Good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Mudo. Thank you. We've done to you, please forgive us. I beg you. I'm so ashamed of my past behavior that I can't even look you in the face. I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry for repaying your good with evil. Find it in your heart to forgive us. Look at where my kid has landed me. Look at Look at us. I'm sorry. My son. To air, they say, is human. Please forgive us. I have already forgiven you a long time ago. Have you probably forgotten about the whole incident? If I haven't forgiven and forgotten, I wouldn't be here now. So, relax your mind. At this point in time in my life, the most important thing to me now is the fact that Sandra and I are back together. That's why I'm here. Both of you have taught us what love is all about. And I can see that you are destined to be man and wife. I give her to you. This is all yours. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take good care of her for me. And whenever you have time, you can come and see my kinsmen for the necessary rights. Thank you so much, sir. I'm really very grateful to you. I'm so happy. Let me assure you straight away that it won't take long. I'll come with my people. Thank you. In fact, um, maybe it won't take long. It won't take long.